Hey everyone, how you doing? Uh, thanks for clicking on my video. Uh, today we're going to visit with Sonny Liston, heavyweight champion 1963-64, uh, right around there. Uh, but first I want to tell you about a job I had in the early 80s, right here in Las Vegas. I worked at the Boulevard Mall, and at the mall was a men's shoe store. Uh, one of the customers, in fact, he was a regular customer, his name was Davey Pearl. Fight fans will know that he was a very popular referee in the 70s and 80s. Uh, one fight he did that stands out to me is the Sugar Ray Leonard Thomas Hearns fight, 1981. I remember that one. Uh, Davey was a regular customer and I got to know him pretty well. After a couple of years, uh, he knew I was a fight fan and he knew I liked Sonny Liston. So I would talk to him about Sonny a few times. So one day, one day he said, hey, if you have some spare time, I'll take you over and show you where Sonny was buried. Sonny's buried. And man, I thought, oh man, I would just love to do that. Because if you think about it, this was in, uh, like I said, early 80s. So there's no internet. The only way you can get information is if you um, went to the library or if you caught programs on TV like a documentary where you can pick up information. And then I remember ESPN had super bouts and uh, that was, you know, I loved that too. So anyway, uh, Davey brings me over here. Uh, he, we walk right to the grave and uh, he would tell me a few things about Sonny. Uh, he said that Sonny had 24 brothers and sisters, if you can imagine that. Man, that's a lot of baked potatoes. Uh, he told me that when Sonny was sent to prison, he got in a little bit of trouble. I think it was armed robbery. That he never ever complained about prison because he got a bed and three meals. You know, they talk about hard punchers. I'm thinking of Ernie Shavers, George Foreman, Mike Tyson. But Sonny had just cement hands. He would knock the stuffing out of his sparring partner's headgears. He picked, he learned boxing from a, uh, while he's in prison, there was a and, uh, boxing instructor that, there that took Sonny under his wing and taught him how to box. Uh, Sonny becomes pretty anxious and wants to jump right in the ring and the trainer was holding him back because he didn't think he was ready. But this pro shows up, a pro, and I think his name was Thurman. And anyway, Sonny talked himself into the ring to go in and spar. And after two rounds, the guy climbs out of the ring and says, oh, he's gonna kill me. And the guy climbs out of the ring and leaves. So, just a devastating puncher. Uh, Sonny was in the top, he's ranked in the top 10 of all heavyweights. Quite a fighter. And you can catch a lot of the fights on YouTube to this day. There we are now. Charles Sonny Liston. Now, they, on the headstone, they show born 1932. But many think he was born sooner than that. But when Sonny's born in Arkansas County, 
Arkansas, they didn't keep, uh, believe it or not, uh, they didn't do uh, birth certificates. A little strange, but. So anyway, Sonny wins a heavyweight title from Floyd Patterson, a first round knockout. He gives Patterson a rematch and Floyd gets knocked out sooner in a rematch. Sonny just annihilated him if you watch that watch that video. He later loses his title to Cassius Clay. Now I'm saying Cassius Clay because Muhammad Ali had not changed his name quite yet. This is 1964. Uh, Sonny quits in the seventh round on the stool because he claimed to injure his left shoulder and many dispute that they think he just quit on a stool uh, there was a rematch uh, Sonny gets knocked out in the first round it's called the phantom punch phantom punch many believe he took a dive but if you slow that down on YouTube and put it at uh, 0.25 speed you can actually see the punch snapping his chin uh, somewhat uh, it did knock him down but uh, me personally I, I didn't think Sonny tried very hard to get back up for whatever reason they said he was uh, afraid of the mob and he was afraid of uh, he was afraid of uh, Muhammad Ali's group that backed him so I, I don't I don't really know but anyway Sonny listening one of my favorites let's run down to the um, Johnny Taco ringside gym and then after that we'll go to Sonny's house Well, the place is closed today. Uh, this is the back entrance. Many champions have parked their vehicles here and entered the gym, the legendary gym. I know Muhammad Ali, Larry Holmes, Mike Tyson. I remember one time in the news, um, Tyson was served legal papers right here at this door, the door on the left. And once he was served, he threw him on the ground, got in the limo, and took off. I think that was the uh, Terrell Biggs fight. Now we're in front of Sonny Liston's house. Uh, this is on the east side of Las Vegas, uh, close to the Boulevard Mall. He lived here from 1963 until his death, 1970. December of 1970, Geraldine uh, continued to live in a home. Uh, right behind the home is a golf course, a country club. So this is where Sonny would do his running, right on the golf course. The home was built in 1963. It's about 3,500 square feet. 
uh, back in the day this is a really affluent neighborhood still nice today This may be the bedroom he died in, possibly. I don't have a floor plan of the home. Nice three car garage. This would be the garage that Sonny kept his Cadillac in. Straight ahead is the Las Vegas Strip. <laughs> 